Well, it's a great day outside, man. The sun is coming. I was had my head out the window again it's, on the it's way It's being over. down, man. It's being down. I, I guess, um, I don't know, man. It's December. It feels like uh, summer. It's weird. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I like this place is there's almost a timeless feel to it, right? I mean, that's why so many people move down here from other places, yeah. man. It's 85 degrees. You know what they're doing up in Rochester, New York right now? Walking like this. Hanging out inside, <laughs> right? hanging out inside man. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Totally. Well, well we're going to be hanging out inside yeah, a lot, right? Yeah, so the football season ended this past weekend, unfortunately. Um, I guess we're going to have to wait another season to watch some games. Uh, and that's too bad. Yeah. It really is. I mean, you had the, t the three, three teams that were left. The P. three I, kings. P.I., North, and Sherry again. And... Uh, I mean, Sherry had a shot, man. Yeah, they did. Sherry had a they shot. They did. Unfortunately, turnovers, I mean, it's, it goes to say with any game, you can't yeah. turn over the ball. I mean, <clears throat> turn over the ball against a better team. In the third round. round. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much place closed. But, like, uh, but as you say, uh, they were in it, and they made a good effort. And I feel like, you know, it's just against those teams, man, you punch and you counter punch and you punch. And if you miss one lick... Bang, 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 you just, yeah. you're gone, you know? Uh, but I was proud of what those kids did. I, you know, both schools, you know, the only two schools, the only district. Yeah, how about 30? 30. You know what I mean? How about, so, forget about 32, how about 30? Yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> I mean, North, that was a whole different story in itself, unfortunately, but I mean. Steel's yeah, good, man. Steel's really good. I admire them, you know? You got to get mad because they beat you, but say, wow, what a team. And then you hope they win the title. And you can say, hey, we played those cats. Yeah, <laughs> right? We yeah. scored a couple times on yeah. them, right? I mean, you know, they're just a different beast. I mean, there's no other way around it. They yeah. they score running, passing. I mean, well, the, on defense. Now the <laughs> thing you say, people always say, steel, impressive athletes, of course. But the other thing that is impressive about them is their precision. They don't mess around, man. I, I watch that team. They just kind of get down to business. They're very machine-like. You know, boy, they just go. Yeah, no, they do, and um, you know, Josh they're gonna Maitland, win the region. Josh Maitland, man, that guy's up something else. Number forty-four. I mean. Watching that guy just tackle people, man. It's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Big guy who gets there fast. I'm right? a little bit more, uh, I like defense a little bit more than offense, but I mean, man, that guy is tough to, to take him on, man. He really is. I mean, he's going to Baylor for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. So The Baylor Bears. I remember a guy named Josh Winky from Lafetia. He played at Baylor. Oh, there you go. He was a great player. And there were many. Well, so yeah. football was a great thing. I, You know, I have no regrets. I've told everyone who asked that. Yeah, I would have liked to have won. I think P.I. probably was a team that right now is feeling like they probably could have won, and I would insert should have, parenthetically, because I think they were as good as Lavernia. Although that team surprised me. They were pretty quick, and they were aggressive, and they, they played a little bit uh, faster pace. I think they out-hit P.I., and that was not something I was uh, ready to see. I, didn't, I was surprised. You were surprised. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just another, in the books, another season, man. Uh, and now we're going indoors. Now we're going indoors, and, you know, uh, we always do this. Oh, it's a football letdown. No, but basketball but, will get good. This no, week. basketball will get good. It's not. We're just not saying we hate basketball. It's just we love football. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, right. Exactly. I mean, that's football. As I could say. That's all we talk about. Yeah, exactly. Football. You know. So I mean, but basketball is good. You know, I I saw Sherry and Roe last week, and my God, you're gonna need points to beat Roe. <laughs> the way around it. And Sherry's a good ball club. I mean, they really are. And I've seen. I saw them twice already. And Roe can just score. I mean, you go down, you go on the wing, where's it going to be? They're going to score. It seems like they move the ball real they do. well. They, they do. look for each other. Uh, you know, some of their big kids are, I'll tell you what I like about Roe. Some of their big kids are good passers. Yeah. I, like, I like a big man that passes, like Bill Walton, man. He was a great passer. And, man, and a lot more things. That guy can play under, that guy can play on the wing. You don't know where he's going to score from, so how, how can you defend that? You know what I mean? Yeah. You just got to. Be up on a man on man and make him give that it wears, up. That wears teams out, and these, I mean, Roe can play really, really hard for four quarters. Make him, make uh, Allen give the ball up, is what I would say, because he's too good. He's the best player in the Valley, I think. I don't know anyone better. Matthew Cervantes at Harlington's really good. Yeah. Big kid, mm -hmm. 15 and 12 a night, but no, I think Alan or Allen, he, he has more skills than anybody around because he's a big kid, but he's lethal of limb. He can jump, yeah. he can shoot the J. Man, that dude is cold. He really yeah. is. So, I mean, they play Mac Allen tonight. It's the district opener. Yeah. Uh, and so we're here. That's, just, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. We're going to be football hands and it's district. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be tonight. We'll see what happens with them. Um, I don't know. Like I said, man, you, I really think you need 60. Uh, or, <clears throat> and Mac Allen 
incidentally had scored in the 50s. I think we might have mentioned it last week. Early on, they were scoring better than last year. Lately, they've hit a rough patch of sorts, but this will be a nice kickoff for them to play hard and compete against Roe. Now, what do you got to do? You say you got to score, obviously, beat Roe. What else do you have to do in terms of staying composed? You know what I mean? I think if you play your game and make shots, I mean, Sherryland was... They got a little flustered, and, Did they? and they didn't. They they were missing shots. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were missing free throws. That's a big thing. You got to make free throws against this team. Yeah. They're free for crying out loud. You're not. <laughs> you're not gonna get free throws. You know. You, yeah. Is it the fans? I mean, That's yeah, it really yeah. is. I mean, so I think you need to attack the rim, and good luck. You know, uh, if you make a few shots early. And you don't get down nine to two or fifteen to four, then you'll be okay. You know, like you well, said, play your game, do what you can do. But Sherryland did that, and then they went on a dry spot. And in the third quarter, I mean, Roe just turned it on. It sounds like the football game, yeah. right? I mean, you know, sooner or later, a team with superior athletes will probably win unless things go differently. You just have to make it go differently somehow. One is by making shots, uh, making free throws, staying out of foul trouble, all the little things. You have to play a very much nearly a flawless game to beat the number one team in the yeah. Valley. So let's see how they do. I'm interested. Now, Memorial, meanwhile, is on the road at San Benito. What so do you think of that? I like Memorial. I think they've had a little bit more uh, more time to play with their football players that they've just got it off the field. And um, I think they'll gradually get up to the better spot. And I like them in that district. And I like them to get out of that district in the playoffs also. Well, DJ and uh, the quarterback, Sanchez, uh, averaging about 16 or 17 combined. They've played several games. So they should be kind of clicking on all cylinders. They don't have a great record right now, but you know what? It doesn't really matter because no, they're 0-0. Oh oh yeah, that rec yeah, that record doesn't matter. I mean, like we were saying, they just got out of that football. football they got run, some size. So, yeah, I mean, they, they got, got three size. big kids. Uh, let's see how Cervantes does. Let's see how those guys, the guards, pull that group together and they go down the road. It's not easy to replace yeah. Papito, man. No, it's, it's not. Blooded, it's not. And um, hopefully by now they've, they've found some chemistry with at the point, you know, because they were they were lacking in the last time I saw that, you know, because mm. like I said, it's new. Yeah, yeah. So like a new quarterback. We'll see how that goes, yeah. So Memorial San Benito, uh, I'll tell you what, man, San Benito's been scrappy recently. You know, they're a the type of team, they'll, they'll always jump on you. And if they get a lead, they'll press you and they'll try to take the ball away. They're, they're missing that Preciado kid who's now at Harlem's and South, and he makes them even better. We may not talk about 32 right now, but don't worry, they're good. Uh, so San Benito by no means can be considered a favorite to win the mm -hmm. district. So it's a good start for Memorial to get that win over there and be 1-0. 1-0, yeah, that's what counts. <laughs> now, speaking of 1-0 and 0-1, either North or EHS, boys, will be that. Or they will both be one, <laughs> right? <laughs> we don't know which one. Uh, it's at North. Uh, the Cougars are off to a 6-1 start. They pounded Rivera. The only loss was the row. And uh, so we'll see. EHS is... People are saying, well, this is EHS's rebuilding year because they lost all those kids to graduation. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, maybe so. But, uh, you know, uh, Zeke Cuellar has had that team there, you know, for years. And so I, I, I'll have to see it to believe it if they're really going to be down, like people say. You know, I still about Bobcats. I really, yeah, like you were saying, you mentioned the coach, Zeke Cuellar. I mean, he might have some athletes that are not up to par as his previous years. Right. Not and as talented he, guys, he, yeah. But he's a great coach. I yeah. mean, he's... Provides wins for that program, and he's well, still at that Kept program. it going from Coach yeah. Filo, put him here, and then Zeke went right here. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, no, exactly. And I don't see them, I mean, you can't, on paper, I'm sure you're. everybody's saying, yeah, north, north, yeah. north. Totally. Well, you but, have to. But cross-town school games, man. You can't, yeah, they don't you, want to get blown out by north. you got to be kidding, all, man. man. I mean, look what happened with north and EHS in the football. That's right, man. You Two know, years man. in a row. Cody. I would say this. Uh, EHS has a, a, you know, they lost Gay, they lost Matt, all these guys, Milo. Uh, they got Andrew Cantu back, and he's one of the best players around, man. It just depends on, as we say, who's going to step up and play with him. Uh, they got Steven Guerrero out of football. I know he's going to give him some rebounds and defense. That guy's tough, man. He can leap, too. North is not going to be the dominant team inside like it was last year when they had Ansel Dua and Alex yeah. Garza. Ansel Dua's not playing. Alex is in the middle, too. They got the Twins. Uh, there's some new guys, and so uh, Coach Garcia was telling me, the other day about some of the new guys who are going to fill in the cracks. And uh, I want to check them out tonight. I'm mean, going to see that game, scout on both teams, realize that it's so early in the season that, you know, they're still trying to figure it out. Uh, but yeah, North playing home has to be a prohibitive favorite. Uh, let's see how EHS does. Now, Sherryland is also at home against the Cornelius. What do you think of that action? Uh, I like Sherryland in that one. Uh, they're good, huh? Yeah, they are. They Tell are. The Torre. They got to say they got a bunch of guys. The yeah, the Delas, they they both play. Tall skinny dude, I man. Sometimes writing, he just bounce to the goal. I'm like, what? Yeah, I remember writing my notes and writing that lot. Thirty four, right? Yeah. Um, I like them a lot. I haven't seen Econ this play, uh, play this year, but um, you're gonna be big. 
They're going to be big. And they're going to need to be big because they need to face those two guys down under. And they can move the rock also, man. So. Yeah, they can. Good passers. Uh, physically, Economides is going to be a match for Sherilyn. Depth-wise, probably not at this point. But you got Adiola, the big kid, the tight end. Uh, you got Robert Brown, yeah. who's a leaper. He, you know, so uh, and Abrego. Those are three big kids. I mean, so when Sherilyn walks out there, he'll be like, "God, these guys are pretty big." The guard play will be the key to the game. Kind of means is renditioning new uh, new guards. So they are going to find out what district play is all about, and on the road against a team that's always in the playoffs. So it's going to be a big match for them. Uh, big, big, big match to see where they're at as a team. It's district, man. Yeah, I know already. It's not even, we haven't yeah. even had the we haven't even had the Diamondback last year. I know. Game. You know, we're, we're we were kind of bummed walking in here, but now we're really talking about it. I know. Yeah, yeah it took me fun. five minutes. Yeah. I'm all fired. This guy's great. <laughs> But the thing is, man, well, you know, you have a soft spot in your heart for football, but you move on to the round ball yeah. because it's cool, man. It happens. I think a different way when I cover basketball. Yeah. I very much have a different mindset and things I like to write about and watch than when I'm in football. My personality almost changes. It's weird. All right, now, what about Vela? Vela is uh, at home against Lincoln. The Vela boys, they're not a bad club, man. They need to win this first game just to let people know that, hey, we're in a race. What do you see in the matchups there that would be for Vela's, you know, win, for them to win? For the... Uh, why will they probably win? Because they have a ton of kids, and they just run them at you, and they wear you down, and you know they're 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 a, they're an active team. They're not the most physical team yet. I mean, they, they have some tall kids, but they're, they're no real bangers. Maybe Luis Salinas can be a banger, uh, but Lincoln's not bad. Lincoln's they they won some ball games early on. Uh, Palmview was good last year. It looks like Lincoln's better. La Jolla, which for a while there was tough. Uh, I don't see it for them. So the district will boil down to, I think Vela is that wild card team. I mean, I really feel like they have the ability overall uh, to make the playoffs. I really yeah. feel that. And we're going to find out early on against Lincoln. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Maybe it'll be another playoff team for the second year. Tell you what, man, the second year is going pretty good for the Sabercats. Uh, let's talk about the girls for a little while. Okay, so North and, oh, let's start on McAllen. Memorial, well, it's the same schedule as the boys. Memorial and San Benito. I think the Memorial girls have the makings of the playoffs. Yeah, I, I haven't seen them at all, actually. Uh, I haven't seen any girls basketball. They've got a couple of big that. kids. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah. Bad. And San Benito has been good in the past, like the last five or six years, but this year, uh, I'm not seeing it yeah. for them. Yeah, they're having, in fact, they're, they're pretty bad. It's pretty much Westlaco to go again. Yeah. <laughs> Westlaco's cold, man. <laughs> Golly, Westlaco's tough. They got a little bit of everything, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. All right, and Rowan McAllen is a very competitive game. Neither one is burning up the nets right now, shall we say. Their, their scoring averages are somewhat low. Uh, but you know what? They both play good defense, and so who's going to come out of here? Who's going to make progress toward being a better offensive team, Rowe or uh, McCallum? That's what I'm looking at. That's the question for tonight. Mm -hmm. It should be interesting. Now I'll answer that question later. Hey, doubleheader. Yeah. See, a doubleheader is cool. We were talking about it. Yeah, it's a long time to be there, but boy, you get to see all the teams. Yeah, that's amazing. I like that. Now, in my district, uh, North is at Lincoln. The North girls... North girls played a great game with the Jags yeah. the other night. 54-52 OT. It was a phenomenal game, man. North came out firing. Claudia Lopez had four threes in the first quarter. She had 23, man. That chick is tough. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm appraising her talent, and I'm like, you know what? She has a chance to be an All-Valley player. She plays like this the whole way because she's fearless, man. Yeah. She just takes the ball and goes. She don't think. She don't whine and complain. She just plays, man. She's athletic, strong, and she can shoot the ball. I've had a, I've seen her hit five threes in the game and four threes in the game, and she had five the other night. She's just a, she can play softball. She's a great little athlete. I'd love to see her on the soccer field. Yeah. Man, I bet she'd be amazing. Interesting. But that goes the same time as softball, and Tressler would kill me if I even suggested. <laughs> so we won't say that. Vela and Economides. By the way, he had open heart surgery. Did you hear that? I did not. Yeah, Coach I Richard. Hope you get better. Yeah, he, he will. He's tough as a boot, man. Them Yankees are like that. He's yeah. gonna be fine. Uh, but I did feel bad for him because you know, how many people look more healthy than him? He's a big yeah. guy, you know. He'll be fine. He's tough as a boot. Vela Economides now. Uh, Economides, like I said, played Vela tough. They had him. I mean, uh, North. They had him. They led at the end, and then they led in overtime. You know how that game ended in regulation? This is amazing. Natalie Alanis, uh, Coach Richard Alanis, uh, Robert Alanis' uh, uh, daughter, mm -hmm. um, she hit two free throws with no time left to send it to overtime, and there was nobody at the line but her. I mean, there's just no way, man. That was such a clutch performance. Give me a break. Can you imagine? Okay, the game's over. You're down two. And the ref says, all right, here, kid. No pressure. Got, got, got your knees. No, she just knocked him down. She didn't even hit the rim. Nice. Boop, boop. I mean, and then they won it overtime. So that was amazing. Uh, so now, that economy, these team uh, can be good. I think it's a playoff team. Them and Vela, that's a great game. Yeah. That's that's the game of the. Of, I'm gonna put a star on that game, or maybe two, because that is the best game of the day yeah. to me. Uh, both teams are good. How good is it going to be? You know, they haven't made the playoffs for a while. It's been like four or five years or six. Uh, Vela, I think, is really good, 
But they better not sleep on Jags, man, because that team is hungry. They're good. They really are good. Mighty Compost, the old softball coach, is, is, uh, is now back in, is in basketball. basketball. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Good. Nice. What else we got, man? What else? Let's see. Uh, Sherland girls at La Jolla. Now, Sherland's tough so far, man. Yeah. They've, they've done well yeah. with a really young team, new team. Got some wins, yeah. Um, man, I haven't seen any girls basketball. I'm so totally sorry, but I will get out and see girls yeah. basketball. Yeah, you I'm will. I'm a human being right now. Maybe it's Palmview and EHS tonight. Yeah. You'll see that one, right? Yeah. The, the, the Lady Bobcats are scrappy, man. They just they hold you down in the numbers yeah. to about 30. They beat Donna in their first game, so that was a good look for them. And I think they should be able to handle Palmview. Uh, so next week when we come back, we're going to have seen not yeah, only our games, a lot. Yeah, but we're, we're going to be seeing the, a lot. We're going to be at the Craig Smith Tournament yeah. in Edinburgh and the Diamondback in uh, Sherryland. So I'm going to be going doing one of these things because there's no football. What else is there? To do? Like, you get to watch basketball during the day. Yeah, there'll be some basketball. Yeah. Uh, are there any football games? Skip yeah, there are football games. Give a class. Send it to I know, yeah. What <laughs> class? What class? Uh, we're, we're out for the year, man. I gave him an early <laughs> furlough, man. Golly. Such a beautiful day. I'll tell you, it was a fun day to be out walking on the college campus with all the young people. And man, I'm seeing so many kids around that used to play sports in these towns. It's so excellent. Nice. Like I told you last week about the letter jackets. Yeah. Where was I? I was at Starbucks the other day. And in walks a bunch of Vela guys, you know, Cisneros and Mark and these guys. I'm like, all right, it's, kind of, it's fun to get to know them and be friends with them, man, because, you know, uh, whether we realize it or not, I mean, we're bringing those guys up. You know, we're role models for them. I mean, why would they pick two buffoons like us? But the fact <laughs> is, I enjoy it because then I'm like, I saw, I saw Brittany Davila the other day at the Starbucks. Apparently, Starbucks is the big hangout now, you know. I gotta check it out, I guess. Uh, I've, been, I've been, been known to go on occasion, yeah. In Edinburgh, like, yeah, I haven't been to that one. Pumpkin Spice, that's where I got the name for that uh, bowl <laughs> game that no one ever picked up on. It's Pumpkin Spice, don't share it. Uh, yeah, it was a fun year, yeah, you have to admit, just to end it, talk yeah, a little bit about football. It was, good. man, it was a good year, and um, I can't wait till next year. Hey, North, uh, you know, three out of five years, 3D. Yeah. You guys need to file that down because that's a good performance by that program. I know they got whooped, but you know what? Who wouldn't have got whooped by Steel? I'm so sorry. You I know, come I, on now. I don't think anybody oh, in this area would have beat that team at all. That team showed what they were about in one quarter. <laughs> Damn. That's not, I mean, that's not even funny. I mean, <laughs> you, we're laughing a little bit, but yeah, nah, man, one quarter of play and that and team just showed man. up. Yeah. Well, I've been on. I've been in that situation before, and there's nothing you can do, and it's almost like you just want the game to be over. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, and then you start thinking, well, no, wait a minute, maybe we can. No, and then you know what? To their credit, they went back and they were punching in the mouth as much as they could, man. And um, but it was just, mouth didn't move that yeah, much. Man. That's like in the movies when you punch a dude, God, and he's like, that all you got? Uh oh. <laughs>